Welcome to Notion and Productivity with Productivity HQ. Adding widgets to your desktop can definitely boost your productivity. So let me show you how. The first step that you're going to do is go to your app store on your MacBook and download Widget Wall. Widget Wall houses many widgets in one without having to download so many different apps. Also, Widget Wall does regularly update their widgets and even refreshes some to give more settings. The first widget that we're gonna look into is the clock widget. And as you can see, it populates the location, the date, and the time. And it also has additional settings in here. I'm gonna quickly change the location to Hawaii and then it'll automatically update. Once it updates, you'll also be able to see in the settings, 24 hour time, the weather also to change the color and to also change the background. And you also can adjust the size for any of your widgets. Another cool widget that's included with Widget Wall is the calculator app. And the calculator app, just like I said with the other ones, it can be resized. So this is how it looks just standard. You would just use your keyboard to type in the numbers. But if you didn't want to do that and you wanted to actually press it, you can also make it large and use the keyboard on the screen. As you'll be able to see further along in the video, many of the widgets are interactive and you'll be able to actually use them and they aren't just there as static images or static widgets. These are the current widgets that are in Widget Wall at the moment. Like I said, they do regularly update and they cycle in new widgets all the time. If you didn't know, Widget Wall is a paid app and also has a free option, but it is very well worth it. I think I paid for a subscription around last year and it's just coming up on a year. I'm going to have to pay again pretty soon, I think in August. And it's easier to keep track of everything and all the stuff you need on a home screen without having to open up a whole new app. As you can see, we do have the music app here and we'll get into that a little bit later, which I love. And even the calendar app here. And even when it comes to the sticky notes app, yes, Apple does have the stickies option, but with Widget Wall, the sticky notes just fit in seamlessly and you have the bullet point and you also have the different markdowns that you can use when it comes to the system settings for widget wall they have general appearance shortcuts and then like i said the plan because there is an option to pay and right here i just keep mine in the menu bar you can also add it into your doc or either in both if you prefer to i just find it easier to leave it in the menu bar so if i need to quickly go and add any widgets or take any away i can do that easily and then just to avoid clutter and not putting it in the dock with every other app Widget Wall also gives you the option to use the grid size for Sonoma or either their personal app, which is very useful if you want to mix and match some of the applications from Apple and Widget Wall. When it comes to the overall color and style of your widgets, you can go into the appearance and change the color. And you can also select your own in the color wheel if the one you want is not already readily available. So for now, I'm just going to choose white. They also give you a quick section just to show you the shortcuts that you can use for your keyboard. Another neat thing about Widget Wall is that you don't have to use the same color for each and every widget. You can go in and change it to any color you like. You can also go in and create multiple notes under one widget, which I think is so genius. Like instead of having multiple sticky notes all over your desktop, you can just add in a new note and then easily switch back to the note that you were previously working on. When you're done with the note, you also have the option to delete it or either export your note. A prompt will always pop up and ask you, are you sure that you want to delete this note? So there's no accidental deletion around here. So these are just the different size looks and you see how it overlaps over it. So you can easily see as you're adjusting the apps, they won't go under each other. You can see them clearly. So when it comes to the music app, they also have Apple Music and Spotify. As you can see, I don't have Spotify anymore. I stopped using Spotify, Team Apple Music, and also for the calendar, you can connect your Google Calendar and you see here I have my birthday and then a port in, which is what I personally have in my Google Calendar. You also have the option if you're in the middle of working on a widget to add another widget in, which is also pretty neat. Another way that you can add widgets to your desktop is through Apple. So you'll press control click and press edit widgets and all of the widgets that are available to you will pop up. This also includes the widgets that are on your iPhone. When using the Apple widgets, of course, they are all free just as they would be on your iPhone. So there's so many different options that you can choose from and so many settings that you could possibly adjust, especially on MacBook. To add one of your widgets from Apple to your desktop, you'll just click and and drag it to your desktop. I've added in the battery, Pinterest, and my fitness app, Any Distance. So the thing with the Apple widgets, depending on which widget it is, you will have to actually open it in your app to adjust it, or either it won't be anything to use really with it, and it's only accessible on your iPhone. And it'll show you that when you're hovering over the widget. Apple does have similar settings, so you would just press Control, click on the widget, and you can edit it in whatever program it is. You change the size, and so on and so forth. For example, with the Pinterest widget, you can edit which home feed you're seeing. For me, I have two different home feeds, which is my Tamiya's Cameo, which is my personal page, and also Productivity HQ. One last thing that I'd like to show you guys is the markdown options within the notes widget. They have the same way it would be in your Apple Notes, which is the title, header, 
bolding, italic, strike throughs, underlining, everything that you normally would be able to do just like in Apple Notes. Thanks for watching and let me know down in the comments will you be using widget wall or just the standard Apple widgets. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I plan on dropping a video either every week or either twice a week. Let me know if that would be good or if you guys would like any other kind of tutorials.